Hi there and welcome back. You are looking at my command windows on Octave screen. There's also an editor section, but for now let us work on command windows. How would you compute a matrix array on Octave? Row versus column. Well, first let's look at row vector. I'm going to put a percentage sign because this is just a comment. I don't want it to display. Okay, let's take x for example and we say x is equals to a row of 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Notice that I made spacing, press enter, and a row array will appear. Similarly, if you want to display a row vector, you can also use commas. So x is equals to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. If you use commas, you should also get a row vector. Perfect. So basically, in essence, a row vector on Octave, you either use spacing or commas inside square brackets, not circle. Be careful of that. Similarly, we could say x is equals to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I don't want this to display because I'm trying to keep my screen clean and nothing will display. But if you say disp x, everything should display. I hope that makes sense. We can also work on our editor section. So I just wrote whatever that we did on the command windows on our editor section. The first option for the row vector, we said it's either spacing or using commas. So if I run this file, we should get the same answer. Let me clear the screen so that you can see the difference. So I'm just going to run this file. And there you go. Everything on my editor section is now displaying on my command windows. Alternatively, you could just copy this here, copy, CLC to clear my screen, paste, and everything should also display. So there's more than one way to um, play around on Octave, and the more you familiarize yourself with it, the more you get to understand different ways of doing one thing. I hope that makes sense. Thank you so much for watching.